Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR NET 2019 Mathematics Solution. Today we will discuss the some questions related to the linear algebra with some shortcut tricks. So let's quickly see how you can solve them. So if you closely look about this question, what is that? You can firstly look about the options are there. This is the determinant of there. So it means you have to firstly find the determinant of this matrix M. So what is the determinant of this? This is 1 minus of here, minus of T. 1 minus of 0 plus of this. So what is that? This is 1 minus of t square minus of t. Now you can look about the option. It's a polynomial function of degree 3. That's a cancel out. This is 0 for all that t, which is not true because if you consider t as 0, then it's a non-zero. This is 0 for infinite many t. That's again 0 because you all of you know that this is the quadratic equations. So when it will be the 0, the roots of these quadratic equations are exactly 2. But they are, are, are they reals or not? We will check that. We can take this as a 0. So if we take this minus b plus minus of b square, yes, they are the real because they are so it means they are exactly two roots which belongs to the real. So the right answer is my 4. Look at the next questions are there. So which is uh, vector space linear transformation with a standard order basis. So t is there and over the matrix given by here. Which of the following statement are true? So if you look about the options, but you can see that our target, all of you know that in case of the linear transformation, if I say x is 0, then if you put up as a linear transformation, then it will be t of 0 is 0. It means our target is to check out of this option, which one is 0. It means either x3 is 0, v1, v2, 0, sum of this, or I can write this value as of here. So our first target is to find the value of v1, v2, v3. Now, what is the, it's a standard basis. So it is a 1, 0, 0. This is my 0, 1, 0. And this is my 0, 0, 1. So if you multiply this matrix A with the v1, what is the, uh, what is the answer of this is 3 cross 3, this is the 3 cross 1. So what is the answer of this is 1, 1 and minus 2. That is my, uh, say, you call this as of the, over this here. Similarly, you can find for the second elements that is nothing but my standard basis that will be my second element. Third will be my 0, 3 and minus 3. So now you can see is the v3 0? Not because the some non-zero elements. v1 plus v2 is 0. The first element is 0. Second is non-zero that is cancel out. Some of them will be a 0. The first value is 0. 3 minus 3 plus 1, 4, 0. 5 minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 is 0 so is the right answer. V1 plus V3 minus this plus this and one. So you can see that the second element is, is a non-zero. Even the first element is a non-zero. 1 plus 1, this option is also cancelled. The right answer is on the C. Look at the another one is there. So a system of the linear equation has a solution. When the system of the linear has a equation, has a solution, when the rank of the A and the rank of the argumentary matrix, they are same. And if they are, how many variables are there? It's a 3 cross 3. If they are 3, then it's a unique solution. If they are not equal to 3, but their rank are same, we will call as the infinite many solution. And if their rank are not equal, then we can say it is a no solution. But if you look about the options are there, this is only for this, only for this. It means there exists a solution. This case is cancelled out. Now, how you can do that? You can simply find the rank of A. Uh, how you can say that rank of A is 3? All of you know that it means that determinant of the matrix is a non-zero. So let's check that what is the determinant of this. This is a 2, 2 minus 15, minus 0 plus 5 of 5 plus of 2. Clearly sees that it's a non-zero. This is a 7, it's a 35 which is a non-zero. So what is the meaning of that? The rank of the matrix is my 3. It means whatever the matrix you have, at least this value is a non-zero called as the alpha. This is a non-zero. So if you write here as a, uh, any of the vectors are there, this is my y1, y2 and y3. What is the rank of the argumentic matrix? This is always be a 3 because of this non-zero element. It means this is here. It means they have the unique solution. So unique solution for what value of the y? It can be any value of the y because there is no problem about the y1, y2, y3. Whatever the value of the y1, y2 and y3, it means it has 
for all the values of the y due to this present because rank of a is non zero that's why it has the uh, unique solution for all the values of y so right answer is my fourth is the right answer look at the another question is there so if it is given to you that a linear transformation is there one is the only eigens value of capital t then which of the following statements are true very simple are there if you can see do you think that any of the matrix now you think about that any of the matrix whose eigen value is 1 like here this has the only one eigen value so it means if i consider t is equal to i now we can discard them what is the first option is i raised to power k is not equal to i that's a wrong statement because i is my identity matrix that is always be now how you can solve this are there so i if you consider again so if in now this now i minus i zero but it is not true for all or not we can check that so if i consider again one is the only eigen value it means i can take diagonal entries as a one and i consider it as a lower entries so i call as this is alpha beta and gamma so what will happen if i consider that t minus of i what will happen is 0 0 0 here this is alpha beta and gamma so what what is that this is uh, what are the uh, what is that this is an important are there because eigen values are zero so can it be say that this is which of the following is true so it can be it cannot be so if you take n as say 2 then it will be zero matrix no you can see that if n is 2 is it a zero matrix no because there is a non zero values of the alpha beta gamma it means this option is also cancel out now how you can solve that so uh, you can also think about their eigen values problem if you think about that since eigen values my one only one are there of this n cross n what is the meaning of that the algebraic multiplicity of one is my n so if algebraic multiplicity of the polynomial of the is n what is the annihilating polynomial are there this is nothing but my x raised to power n or if i consider about the x minus 1 so what is the uh, here this is the because is a polynomial of degree 1 so annihilating polynomials is my x minus 1 raised to power n so now what now since it is a polynomial so we can satisfy the matrix so we can use the kelly hamilton theorem what is the kelly hamilton theorem is the matrix minus of i this is my zero so i can replace a as of the t because t is my uh, matrix so uh, uh, so i can consider here so it means this is the correct option is it true also yes i think this is also true because i can write this matrix as of here now you can easily see that this will be a zero so this is also the right answer so 3 and 4 are the correct option for this problem otherwise you can also consider here and tick uh, choose the n as 2 3 and so on you can get another answer of this so this is the way you can solve this problem algebraic multiplicity of this and so on we will see some more examples in our next class till then you can simply follow this videos link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning